Hi there, welcome to my views and news. Viewers, I have four news stories for you, four reports from four different zones of Ethiopia, from four different regional states, involving six ethnic groups. The four incidents happened in the last uh, one week or so, indicating the problems which Ethiopia is facing, which Ethiopians are facing. Uh, I think these four incidents sum up the security situation, the overall law and order situation in Ethiopia. And these four incide incidents indicate the challenges which Ethiopian security forces, uh, Ethiopian people are faced with. Let's start, dudes. First, Conflict which happened uh, within one week happened in Amhara region, Romia special zone of the Amhara region and North Shawa zone of the Amhara region. There were clashes in these two zones between Pano fighters and armed Oromo or farmers. Pano fighters are armed as well. And uh, dozens were injured and killed in this violence. Injured people, it was difficult to transport them to hospitals because of the closure of roads. And we saw mutual accusations. Uh, Ethiopian military could not stop direct confrontation between Amharas and Oromos in Oromia special zone, North Shawa zone. And both sides accused each other, Amhara. Fano fighters claim that Shena, Shene from, they call Ola Shene, that Shene from Romia was uh, intervening, backing armed uh, local Oromos. While Oromos claim that uh, Fano fighters were attacking Romo population in Romia special zone. How, uh, now uh, we can say that uh, it was basically an Amhara Oromo conflict, which happened in Amhara region of Ethiopia. First incident. Second incident. Tigray Amhara fighting. Again, this week, uh, it was uh, on Monday night when the two sides clashed in Raya El Amata. Pano fighters, Tigray fighters, both are accusing each other. Pano fighters, Amhara militia members, they say that it was Tigray side which tried to expand its presence into Raya Lamata. While a Tigray official spokesperson was heard saying yesterday, communication in charge, that it was uh, Amhara militia members uh, who were trying to expand their presence in Raya Lamata and beyond that. Here, luckily, Ethiopian National Defense Force intervened and it averted. Further collision, but uh, according to Amhara side, one casualty, Tegra is denying any casualties. So it happened between Tegra and Amhara fighters in Raya Alamata. Second incident this week. Third incident. Yesterday, fighting broke out between. Afars and Somalis in Siti zone of the Somali region. Garani is the name of the area and Dhunyar is the name of the district in Siti zone. Heavy clashes erupted or resumed you can say because uh, for almost three years I have been covering Afar Somali conflict. They are fighting over territories, over some fertile lands. And uh, after every few months, clashes erupt, people die. Ethiopian military sometimes intervenes. Sometimes there is no intervention from Ethiopian National Defense Force. External players are involved too. Djibouti allegedly backing Somali ISAs. Afars are accused that they have backing, they have links with Frud, and they have support from Ethiopian National Defense Force. Military tried to mediate between the two sides last year, 
and a few days ago we saw that if you open islamic affairs supreme council held a meeting mediating between the two sides of fars and somalis so a committee was established after islamic affairs supreme council uh, brought the two parties to the table but after that you saw that yesterday fighting erupted between the two sides in city zone here a fars and somalis fighting for years nothing new this issue of a far somali conflict is not new the three incidents fourth one gambala this week there was ethnic violence in gambala neors and aniocs have been fighting there for years i did several videos last year to that uh, several people died in ethnic violence in gambala uh, same is happening these days in gambala just yesterday a public transport vehicle a bus was attacked and uh, people traveling from neor zone to any of territory in the bus they were attacked and several people died they were shot dead in, in while they were on their way in the bus they were unarmed reportedly several died so you see that in gambala it is an internal conflict between two ethnic groups neors and yorks in amhara it is romo amhara in tigray uh, in ralamata tigray amhara in afar somali this is afar somali and interestingly interesting point is that all these four conflicts are not new they have been ongoing for years romia special zone violence or velaga violence in velaga as well we see ethnic violence after every few months dozens are killed and uh, this is not a new conflict romia special zone fighting it is also not a new, it's not a new development it has been ongoing for years a far somali conflict ongoing for years since i started covering ethiopia i have done videos on all these four conflicts i have done scores of videos on all these four conflicts there are other conflicts too by the way i am just covering those incidents which happened this week in just one week we saw four ethnic conflicts unfold in ethiopia and which has been which have been ongoing for years though i can talk about other conflicts too i do have uh, information about other conflicts but nothing new happened this week so i'm not discussing those what does it indicate it indicates the real problems which ethiopians are facing still the people living are tied to their ethnic groups they support the group from which they are and they think that their ethnic group is in danger by the way every ethnic group in ethiopia is uh, insecure it says that it's in danger that it is going to be wiped out genocide is being committed Neors, Aniocs, Romos of uh, Romia Special Zone, Amharas of Velaga, then Afars, Somalis of the territories uh, near Ethiopia, Djibouti Road, uh, all have similar concerns that they are in danger. The other sides, other side wants to destroy them. What does it indi indicate? I mean, if everyone is in danger in ethiopia then who is not in danger it means there are serious trust issues there is serious trust deficit and why is that on uh, that on national level on federal level no comprehensive efforts have been made to resolve conflicts in ethiopia i mean a separate wing 
should be established it can be established which should work only on resolution of ethnic conflicts in ethiopia it can be done it's it's doable and where is federal government by the way does federal government have any writ in ethiopia fighting between regions fighting intra regional fighting inter regional fighting ethiopian national defense force no would be seen in most cases endf arrives after people have been killed then what is the purpose of having a strong army which external threats are being faced by ethiopia internally endf is unable to stop these conflicts i always say that ethiopia needs a new start and the issues are not very thorny issues believe me these issues can be settled at the table what you need is a start what you need is commitment what you need is some sort of mechanism which has trust of all the parties one effort comprehensive effort to resolve conflicts can bring lasting peace to the country but for the last 3 years i have been covering these conflicts so far no serious efforts have been made on federal level to resolve outstanding issues i could decide pretoria if you remember i said that uh, it was good that guns had been silenced pretoria should have been followed by more discussions to find an amicable solution between tigray and amhara which has not happened and now we're seeing that the two sides are threatening each other and people are saying that a fourth round of war could be on the horizon let's see what happens thank you for watching